Hello students, in my last video I had discussed the micro environmental factors of marketing in details. Today I shall be taking up the macro environmental factors of marketing in details. This is uh, this topic is from unit 2 of paper code 109 introduction to marketing. Now what do we mean by macro environmental factors? Macro environment refers to all those factors which are not concerned with the immediate environment of the organization. So since they are not concerned with the immediate environment of the organization that means they are external factors. Those factors which are external to the organization those uh, which uh, are prevalent outside the organization and because they are external factors they are uncontrollable also. And uh, since they are external factors, they are not under the direct influence of the, uh, they do not, uh, they indirectly influence the marketing activities and decisions of an organization. Now, let us see what are the um, various macro environmental factors. The first factor is the demographic factor. What is demographic factor? These factors include um, uh, things like uh, uh, size of population, then uh, geographical distribution, density, mobility trend, then birth, uh, death and marriage rates, then uh, the uh, income, the occupation, the education, then uh, the religious structure of that place, the race, ethnicity, all these things. And since all these factors that I've mentioned in demographic factors, all these factors, they keep on changing frequently. And since they change frequently, they also have a direct impact on the behavior of the customer, especially the buying behavior of the customer. And since it, uh, it has an influence, it influences the buying behavior of the customer. So it has an indirect impact on the marketing activities of a firm. Like for example, uh, say a uh, female who is not married will have different priorities and will have a different uh, you know desires and wants the moment she gets married her priorities change and therefore the her behavior towards thing her attitude towards thing also change this will bring about a, uh, uh, a perception might also change so this will bring about a change in her buying behavior as well now this married uh, girl when she becomes a mother again there is a change in her behavior her perceptions her attitudes and that will impact the buying behavior so the uh, marketers have to keep in mind the changing factors um, and uh, therefore the marketing activity and the decision is also impacted the second factor is the economic factor. The economic factor includes pattern of income distribution, pattern of expenditure, then the uh, cost of living, the interest rates, the repayment terms, etc. The pattern of customer savings, like whether he is saving it in bank account, um, in a savings account, or he is buying bonds, securities, uh, 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 you know, he's, he's buying shares, real estate purchases, or insurance policies, all these things. Uh, so a person like say, for example, a person who is, uh, who is, uh, who has just joined a job and he is uh, 23, 24 years of age, will have different priorities in life and will try to make his, uh, you know, uh, uh, savings in different uh, uh, in different uh, types of uh, he'll have different type of uh, saving the per, the moment he gets married now because he is married he is uh, responsible for somebody else also he has take he has to take the responsibility of somebody else so now he'll be focusing on more of uh, you know such kind of investments which will uh, give him good returns okay so he'll try to uh, uh, invest in shares or mutual funds which will give better returns uh, uh, than uh, a normal say fixed deposit the moment that person has a child again the he has a uh, his liabilities are increasing so he needs to have uh, more uh, uh, sources of uh, uh, income generation apart from his salary he would like to also um, earn interest from other uh, savings or he would try to multiply his uh, money so then he will have a different kind he will try to take up a different kind of a product so that the marketers needs to keep in mind 
Then the third point is the physical forces. Now, these physical forces can be divided, uh, the or the natural forces can be divided into two types. One is the renewable, and the other one is the non-renewable sources. The renewable sources are those which can be recycled, like for example, forest or uh, uh, food products from agriculture or sea. But there are certain sources which are non-renewable, that is they can not be recycled, once lost slots forever. Like for example, mineral, coal, oil, all these things. So, <clears throat> depending upon uh, what kind of uh, natural source, whether renewable or non-renewable source, I am using as a raw material to make my product will also affect my marketing decisions and activities. For example, if I am uh, um, manufacturing iron and steel, so my uh, most important raw material will be coal and coal is a non-renewable product. So, I have to think about uh, how I am going to plan out my marketing activity, uh, what kind of product I will be making and what, uh, how much percentage of this raw material that is coal has to be used in an optimal manner so that uh, you know I can meet the requirement of my customers uh, or my product satisfies the needs of the customer and at the same time I can also save upon the raw material that I am using because it is non renewable then the fourth uh, um, factor which also impacts our marketing decision is the technological factors technology is a major force in business and industry they affect the market plan in two ways number one is that uh, technology is quite unpredictable so uh, it keeps on changing okay and we have to every organization have has to uh, keep uh, themselves abreast with the new technology the moment i am not using new technology i i am uh, you know uh, losing my position in the market because i am not able to give the best product to the customer i have so many competitors and my competitors are beating me just on the basis of the technology that they are using and i am not using that then my market position will definitely decrease okay and people will uh, not like to buy my product the second um, uh, thing that affects a technological factor that affects the market plan is uh, whether i'm adopting a new technology uh, well, if it is prevented by many internal and external constraints. Also, uh, technology, when I am adopting a technology, it poses both the situations of uh, opportunity as well as threat to the marketer. So, this um, and it also leads to uh, problems of pollution. Then the fifth factor is the political and the legal forces. So development in political and legal aspect greatly affects the marketing decision. Government policies, a policy, uh, uh, the agencies, party which is in power, which party is in opposition, what are the land laws, all these factors create a tremendous pressure on the marketing management. The uh, last factor is the social and the cultural factor. So, the social forces uh, like the activist consumer group, the social workers, the mass media, the professional groups, the political, the politicians, government, social organization, etc. have made marketing socially responsible. So, these factors impose restrictions on the marketing process. So, similarly, uh, just like our uh, social factor, the cultural factor also plays a very important part. Uh, our core and secondary cultural values are also fast changing. For example, uh, the uh, you know uh, the change in this uh, hairs ha hairstyle, the or uh, say change in clothings or fashion uh, clothings accessories etc. Uh, change with time, uh, but. Uh, uh, the most interesting thing is that not everybody is changing with uh, the change in time or change in fashion. For example, if now today it's a fashion of, uh, you know, highlighting your hair, not everybody is going for highlighting. So, some people are still uh, sticking to their own traditional uh, way of uh, definition of fashion. So, all these things have to be kept in mind. Again, apart from uh, this uh, cultural uh, uh, factor, uh, this uh, religion also plays a very important uh, um, aspect. It's also a very important aspect of culture which influences the demand and supply pattern. 
so generally we will see that during the festive times there are certain products which are launched for a particular uh, religion keeping in mind the the needs and wants um, and the likes and dislikes of a particular religious uh, um, you know uh, sect uh, and their uh, rituals and everything for a particular festival so thus uh, uh, what do we conclude from the study of the micro and the macro environmental factors so these uh, uh, factors state that a company has to operate within both kinds of condition uh, the uh, uh, some factors would be would be always controllable can be controlled and some um, uh, factors will not be in the hands of the company and they will be um, uncontrollable environmental factors so these forces they will offer both opportunity as well as threat at the same time to the marketers so the marketers have to have a close vigil on these changing factors and therefore they will tr they should try to improve um, their products uh, accordingly they should modify their products accordingly or they should come up with new products accordingly thank you